<laughs> I, I, I like John Wick. Yeah, well, I've come across with him. He's yeah, he's, he's very. That, nice. That's why that's why he's a good uh, good in the community. Uh, yeah, uh, and he hangs out in <laughs> tech fights. You know, sometimes please keep an eye on it a bit because of some people in there. You know, but <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's his job to. Uh, <laughs> it's also his job, but he's still he seems still seems it's his job. Yeah, but he, he does seem like a very nice guy. I mean, I, I like going to his video uh, thing. Asking him questions about those things and and see if he normally plays guitar at the end and it's really nice. Does he? Like, yeah, yeah. His stream is um. All right. At home with Johnny Baker and he I, I saw the guitar in the background. I, I never actually saw a uh, whole stream. He, he plays live normally at the end for everyone who's watching, which is oh. really nice. Yeah. And he has his uh, sa- uh what's his uh, a Savage Fifth, whatever it's called. You know the band. He's yeah. his band. Yes, uh, we had him on a show when we. Yeah, I know, dude. I had that one earlier. I had that one before. Mm. He, but, yeah, he's, uh, he used to do a a show of his own. He used to be in Floss Weekly as well, but he doesn't uh, have time for all these things. It's very time consuming. He, I mean, and uh, then he writes his art of community book or whatever it was. I mean, bunch were very lucky to have Johnny Bacon really or Chronicle. Yeah, or Microsoft tried to hire him a couple. Uh, yeah, of yeah, twice or something, and he refused. Yeah. And they were going to pay him a lot of. They were going to pay a lot for him. Which, before. which I appreciate hearing it from him. So you said no, and he was very true to the. Uh, Spirit. Yeah, like a million dollars or, or more than that, even or something. And then, I don't. I unless he told you an amount. I, I think you're just that. Uh, Maybe not that, but so it was quite I don't know. He did, did say. Uh, he didn't say what number, but, but whatever. So, but uh, this is a uh, I wrote a post about. I didn't actually mention him by name. I suppose if we do a podcast, it isn't. I'm trying not to mention names of people in the community because because then they say, oh, you. Trying to pick on people, personal attacks. Look at you. you know, uh, anyway, so 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 uh, I didn't mention the the, the 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 name of the person that how Microsoft was trying to hire, but I I, I know of several other people in the false community. No, no, yeah, but that's not a secret. And they, they they'd say it's something they try systematically to do, and usually to remove. That's what they try to do against companies like Borland before is pick up the key people, give them a lot of money, even if it's costing you lots yeah. of stuff. Pull them out and you destroy the companies. Just cause the brain drain, remove the managers, remove the people beneath them, and you cause basically a servant exodus yeah, that's kind of leading the whole company to collapse. And once it collapses, you can lower, you can bring up the prices. So if they can make Ubuntu collapse, and let's say Ubuntu has they got like the flag of like you know we are the Linux desktop and you know, use us. If they can make Ubuntu fail, uh, then they have less competition on the desktop, then they have only have to worry about Mac OS X. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and they're friends with Apple, as you probably know, and lots of people will just kind of say, no, nah, it's not true. But it is, uh, like, it, it is to an I've extent. To, uh, yeah, we'll go on, we'll go back to the community. So, um, what was I going to say? Uh, anyway, don't know that he was apparently going to work, he'd been offered to work with Microsoft. That's not really a secret. I mean, he's just told people in his Ustream a few times. He's, he's very, uh, he's very open about a lot of stuff, and that's yeah, yeah, that makes him good as well. I think he wanted to say something about uh, GNOME three and, and uh, maybe GNOME yeah, GNOME. yeah, I did, I did. Um, so obviously, I mean, I, when they started patching the GNOME two in the months, so I wasn't very keen because of. I mean, I, I like the sound menu in ten point ten, for example, but. Most of the stuff I never really liked. I didn't want. I didn't want social networking in the top. I didn't. I didn't want a uh, shutdown <laughs> on the right. You know. I didn't. Anyway, I mean, there's things like the um, Bunty Software Center going in. I never really liked that. I've, I've always liked Synaptic. Uh, and is this uh, facilitating the store and actual payments? Payments. Yeah. And now, more recently, they're actually trying to make money from it by offering proprietary software. And there was a whole thing about that. Then there was the thing about Banshee and uh, oh dear, Mono and uh, Amazon. But yeah, but uh, the Amazon deal and how Conical are going to take most of the money and uh, that was supposed to be going to Gnome and like over fifty percent. And there was all that earlier this year, you know. But th- those things isn't really why I moved away from Ubuntu so much, or or trying to be, or moving away from it more. It's just uh, sort of the direction of the distribution itself and. How it's not quite going where, where I want it to go. I mean, I, I used to really want it to go mainstream when I did Ubuntu, but I thought Ubuntu 8.10 was like ready for the mainstream with some proper help from people who knew how. And I thought it was like the best Ubuntu version. Like, yeah, like, and the background by default and everything. It was just, oh, just a lovely release. 
Although it didn't uh, actually work on the other computer with Ethernet because um, when I upgraded from 8.04, it um, um, stopped working the Ethernet and 9.4 was already out anyway, so I did that with the option export support for quicker boot up. And then I had, uh, and then the computer messed up on the Windows side and I had to, um, some virus or something, blue screen of death on the window CD as well, and then the whole hard disk got redone, like completely clean with the program. And I put 9.10 on it, even though I wasn't very happy with it. And then I upgraded it to 10.4. And my brother's using this, and uh, eventually Ubuntu 10.4 refused to let let my older brother log in, and I was like, what? And then I just gave up on Ubuntu there as well because I was customizing it with like the old versions. And I thought this is just I'm just going to give up. I'm going to put a more reliable distro on. So I put Mandriva on, and that stayed Mandriva ever since I've, d- I've done that. And it's going to stay Mandriva until my year two, probably, even though it's going to run out of support on the 2010 series, I think in like January the 8th, but I'll still keep it Mandriva. And because this is my little brother mainly uses it, and it's Firefox, so he needs and stuff like that. So it's like, hey, I'm going to switch that to my year two, that's the plan, eventually when it's time. And, uh, I'll have his laptop eventually with my dear probably and win- Windows 8 as an option because it'll come. Anyway, so what was I saying? Um, bun- yeah, I was going to say about Unity and Game 3, that's right. Um, so obviously the patches were a bit, I wasn't really keen when they were in Gnome 2, but when they started making Unity, it was kind of like these patches I didn't really like. It was kind of interesting in a way because now it was like its own interface, and I've never really liked Unity much from my trying because it was um, it it wasn't really, it was never it was never really it was never really aimed at me anyway. It's aimed at the new users straight from Windows or Mac OS X, mm-hmm. and it, it was ne- it's never really been aimed at me. I like GNOME Shell from what I've seen of it. I'm, I've used... Maybe uh, you felt as though the distro was not really aimed at you, so they weren't caring about your... Yeah. Creativity. So yeah, it's it, kind of like, well, absorb the new users, but I'm moving to something They, they tried to make it go mainstream. I want, you know, I want it to go mainstream. The older bunch. There's like. the possibility that what they might try and do then is to try and pursue those users. I mean, most people I know that meet Ubuntu for the first time with Unity, they... they so far, it seems to be reasonably okay with it. But I think if this is the target audience that, you know, Kanika wants to go for, you're fine. But you might want to move to a distro which preserves your priorities and maybe. Yeah. The like thing is, they're gonna they're gonna t- they're trying. I think what they're trying to do now is, that, yes, they're trying to tie the mainstream. I mean, I the old Ubuntu before this this conical design team, I had Tunnel, I was called that. You know, it was it was all right, really. It was it. Ubuntu was it became popular because it was a good GNOME 2 distribution. Simple as that. And and okay, there was the hype, of course. There's all these articles saying how great Ubuntu was and how Mark Shuttleworth had been in space and all that. But and the money behind it. But um, you know, I think I think the main reason it became so popular is because it was a good GNOME 2 distribution. Simple as that. And they, what about uh, the free CDs? I I thought I always said it was probably the free CDs. I know this and the is free one of the CDs, I use. Yeah. Because it made it very available for myself when I was walking around my street competing or something and I was speaking to my colleagues and I said, what distros do you have? And they're like saying, I'm driven. I said, that's kind of old. And, and one of them is like pulling out and say, oh, yeah, Ubuntu. And I just get a bunch of CDs. And, and it, like, oh, and I Ubuntu, it. Mm, and it's, yeah, exactly. They're giving out the free CDs, right? So what, like 2004 to like, who well, else? Only like last year they stopped or early this year. And they no more free CDs unless it's to a low code um, yeah, well, it became a bit expensive, and I, I think they have already kind of gotten the loads of the market share. And they, they were, they were giving, yeah, exactly. They, and they were doing the free CDs at a time when Mandriva, who used to have a lot of users, was having all these problems. And the time when Open Sushi, which also used to be quite popular, didn't it, was have, wasn't like losing people, or whatever. And they, so they had the advantage there because Mandriva couldn't compete against Ubuntu. Plus one do had to compete against Broadband because when it when it was Mandrake back all the you know, nineteen ninety eight, Broadband hadn't really hit off and that's the people I think the, I think some shops sold or something even. Yeah. Yes, in magazine you'd get a magazine in some cases, but I think that the um 
So yeah, you wouldn't download them, would you? Because no, you wouldn't. No, it would be yeah, dial up. It was. Yeah. It was too slow. You so, consider just paying like I don't know twenty dollars and just getting it sent to your so house. So Bantu just sort of came along at the right time to be a new distribution.